So hey guys, welcome back. So today we're talking about tips and tricks that will help keep your house clean and your home organized. Not all of these tips are gonna be perfect for you. You have to pick out the ones that will work. So the first one that I have for you is just really simple and that is just clean a little bit as you go along. So while you're doing one task, go ahead and do one little extra thing with it. What I mean by that, when I get up in the morning and I'm in my bathroom and I am brushing my teeth, putting on my makeup, fixing my hair, all the things that we all have to do, I want you to do one little thing. If you see something that's out of place, if you see a towel that's all messed up on the towel rack, straighten it up. So while I've got the curling iron, you know, curling my hair, I can straighten a towel rack. I can wipe the countertop down. I can rinse the sink out. These are things that I regularly try to do while I'm already there. And I usually will multitask and enjoy myself because I usually have a podcast going on so that it doesn't feel like I'm cleaning and it doesn't feel like it's a chore. I try to add things throughout my cleaning routine to enjoy it. So that is tip two. Add something, anything that you enjoy doing at the same time as while you're cleaning. It makes the time go so much faster. The way I do it is I usually have earbuds in and I'm listening to either a podcast, my favorite music, or I will even have TV shows going as I'm doing things. I can be kind of watching it while I'm grabbing things and doing things things and I keep up with my shows that my husband maybe doesn't like to watch. You know what I mean. I'm a reality junkie and he's probably not. That just helps my time go faster. I don't mind it because I'm enjoying the show while I do the work. I also do that when I'm folding my laundry. So when I'm folding my laundry, I'll get all of the foldable things straight out of the dryer as soon as it goes off. Tip three, take the things out of the dryer the minute it goes off, put them in the basket, hang up anything that needs to hang up. It doesn't have to mean that you have a pile of laundry every weekend that you have to dig through. If you do this every day, one load every day, it doesn't feel like that much of a chore and you'll get the benefit of never having that huge pile of dirty laundry again and your favorite clothes will always be ready for you to wear. Another thing that I like to do when I'm cooking is I like to go ahead and clean as I go. So when I get done chopping the vegetables, I rinse off the chopping block, I go ahead and wash the knives, I put them in the dishwasher, whatever you've got to do. So when dinner is finished, the only dishes that I have to handle are the actual plates and silverware that we're eating off of, which is huge. And if you have kids in the family, why not get them involved? So I love it when there are children at home because that means that I cook, you clean. And I usually don't make it a huge mess, but it is nice to have the kids be able to put away all the things off the kitchen table, wipe it down, go ahead and do the dishes while I get the next things going. That leads me to my next point, which is don't sit down. If you're like me, if I sit down, then I'm gonna get my phone out or my iPad out, I'm gonna play video games, I'm gonna go on social media. I have gone down the TikTok rabbit hole, I can't tell you how many times so that I can't even open it because it's a huge time waster for me and I love it, but I will only open it if I'm at the doctor's office. And that is the only time I allow myself to do any of those things is when I'm at the doctor's office. So without sitting down, what I get done is that right after dinner, I will go ahead and get that laundry. I will go ahead and clean up the kitchen. I will go ahead and do the last few things that I wanna do so that when I do sit down, all hands are done, it's finished, the house is ready for the next day, and I can truly breathe in a sigh of relief knowing that tomorrow I'm gonna start with a clean space and I got everything done and now it's time to spend time with my family. I also recommend go ahead and set up a cleaning routine and if you don't know how to do a cleaning routine, just check out this video here because I kind of step you through exactly the routines that I am following and how that all plays out. But you have to make it yours, it's not something that is cookie cutter for everyone. So I do a morning routine and an evening routine that completely keeps life going. So one of the things that I think you should do every single day, every day guys, is to make your bed. It instantly makes your bedroom look a ton better. And if you go ahead and make your bed, then when you go to bed at night, you sleep better too because your sheets feel clean and fresh. 
You also want to go ahead and make sure your sink is cleaned and shiny and that your counters are clear of any extra stuff. So those three things will instantly keep your house looking cleaner. One of the things that I, I like to do every single day is on my cleaning routine, there's a 15 minute declutter time. And so just take a few minutes, set the timer. That is another huge tip, set a timer because Nothing seems impossible if you know it's only for a few minutes. So set a timer and every single day do one thing. Pick a drawer, pick a basket, pick a box, whatever you've got to go through. Pick it, set the timer, and dig in. Just get as much done as you can during your 15 minutes and then move on. Let it go. You'll get back to it tomorrow. But you also need to have a place to put all of that. So what I've started doing is I've got a bin and I just keep it in my entry or in my... Um, mudroom that's where it is so i keep it in the mudroom and that way as i go through and i see something we no longer need or that we could donate something that doesn't fit anymore whatever it is i can go ahead and take it straight to that donate bucket and i will take it by and drop it off while i'm out running my errands so if you can do something like that that will not only make you feel better but it'll make your home a lot less cluttered a lot easier to keep clean and you'll be able to find more of your things because you don't have to go through all of those other things to get to what you're really looking for. Talking about decluttering, make sure that you have a place for everything. So for example, if you don't have a place for it, then it never goes to its home. It just kind of gets moved about and scattered around and it's hard to do. The same can be said with kids book bags, shoes, coats, all of those things that get frequently dropped at the corners or the desk or the front door put a place for it, even if it's just a basket for shoes to go in or a bin for backpacks to go in. That way, all of the mess is contained to one place. Then it's gonna make the whole house seem cleaner because you don't have things scattered everywhere. If you give them a place and train them to put their things there, you will never have to move it again. One of my biggest tips, and this is something that I am pushing my family to understand, Never leave a room empty handed. So when you get up from watching TV, before you walk into the kitchen to get whatever you want out of the kitchen, look around and grab something. Usually there is something that you could either put away, throw away, or take, put back, whatever it is. If it's not yours, it's fine. Pick something up and take it with you. So one of my biggest things is the stairs. You know, you've got those things that need to go upstairs, but it's not like enough to make a full trip upstairs, right? So I like to have like a small basket or a step that's designated for whatever needs to go up on your way. And if you can get the kids to understand that you never walk up the stairs empty handed, then when they go to get up the stairs, they pick up whatever's on the step and they take it with them, them dirty laundry, take it down with them. Clean laundry, take it up with them. It's a huge time saver. It gets things done. And mamas, it's not your responsibility to take all the stuff up and put everything away. This is a family home and these are family chores. And so if you can just get everyone on board with the whole idea of you never walk away empty handed, then yes, it's okay to take your shoes off in the living room. But the minute you get up to go to the bathroom, you take the shoes with you and your house will stay looking clean and it'll be cozy for the entire family. And another really great tip that have saved so much time is to get good equipment. Now I am not perfect. So you guys know I still have that old Kirby and it is on the replacement list. I have my eye on one of those real nice little battery powered hand vacuum cleaners. It will happen. But for now I've got what I've got. But the vacuum cleaner is still doing a good job and I also have a Roomba that kind of gets the daily dust and things off which is super helpful. So invest in things that are gonna make cleaning less of a chore. So I just picked up this little guy and I'm super excited because this is a steam shot and it's gonna take care of all that heavy duty scrubbing that I have to do on like window seals and door frames and some of the grimy things that just need a little hot heat, steam, whatever you call it, to get it deep cleaned. So like grout, all of that fun stuff. So I just picked this up and I cannot wait to get started with it um, and see all the amazing things that I can do with this guy. And it's gonna save me so much elbow grease when it comes to like deep cleaning my zones. So you guys are gonna see this for sure in the next couple of zone cleanings. 
And lastly, mamas, remember that you need to love yourself and give yourself just a little bit of grace because life happens and no one is perfect and you're not gonna be able to do everything every day all the time. There are gonna be weeks you're just not up to the task of doing it all. There are gonna be nights where you're exhausted and you just wanna go to bed and you leave the dishes for the next day. Don't forget to love yourself. Don't forget to, to celebrate the wins. Don't forget that you have done an amazing job of number one, being a wife, number two, being a parent, and then number three, maybe the housework and the cooking and all of the other things that mamas have to do. Love yourself and remember that you are doing it. You are the glue that holds the whole family together. And if you become unraveled, if you are worn out and you're not taking care of yourself, then everything will fall apart. So give yourself grace when you can't get everything done and do some things for yourself when you can. And I know it's a struggle, but remember a long hot bath, a glass of wine, um, you know, close the door, don't let the kids in and just soak for 30 minutes. You've earned it. Go do it.